roadways of downtown Phoenix shining his dust ball. In offense, dictate tempo, and, and I think that is a good game plan. That's the only plan, really, Greg and, and Kevin. I mean, they cannot allow that offense to run wild. This game has to be played on their terms. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And first time out of the game. Excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. And they just keep finding the open man. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the strike. He was feeling it. Going to the line for one more. And defensively, just too many baskets in transition. It's really, that's been the difference. And you know they work on that plenty in practice. A run out here and there will happen. That's part of the game. But they've got to do a much better job overall. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Listen, 84 is a really good number to post at the foul line, and that's where he's at. <laughs> Pelican shooting their seventh and eighth free throw. It's a point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Phoenix shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity strike. See how the West is matching up. You look at Phoenix, advantage in one series. And, of course, the, the plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And, Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. No, they've changed their game here. We need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay, to get these big calls right. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, and Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I, I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. Suns ahead, opening up a huge gap. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. We've been uh, watching a pretty lopsided game through the first half, that's for sure. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined again by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Phoenix had no problems getting going. They opened up the game knocking down shots and defending extremely well, going on a blazing 15-2 run. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, they went downtown and threw a party. 
and fortunately, we were all invited. The key is that shooters weren't afraid to pull the trigger on open looks, and it's a blowout right now. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Pelicans. Well, when you look at the opponent field goal percentage, that tells the whole story. They gave up way too many good looks. When they come out of the break, they got to play way tougher. And get those hands up, get in your opponent's face, do something. And now, folks, it's just about time for the third quarter to begin. We will see you after the final buzzer. I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. Now we thought the third quarter was over. It turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the bust. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hand in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they've come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look That's at good. it on the replay. With the clock still ticking when it left his fingertips. And they've taken a look at it, and they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good, Greg. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And, and really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheating. Well, there's hot guys, and then there's really hot. They just can't miss. You know, Greg, sometimes you'll see an individual guy Go on a shooting tear like this, but the whole squad? Wow. The Pelicans making a switch here. <laughs> totally out of sync. I mean, you can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now we'll head over to the studio with Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thanks, Kevin, and let's take a look now as we give the nod to our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game. His showcase of his skill set was awesome. One thing that stood out to me was his contribution from deep. We know he can hit the three ball, but we saw him do a lot more damage to normal. And that really opened up. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me, and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.